Monday was Labor Day, so as tradition, Brenna and I went on some spontaneous Labor Day adventures, taking our first stop at Alfred's Coffee and Tea in Melrose. Whoa, in Melrose for coffee, tea, and lunch. It was so cute and so yummy there, and yes, I totally got a mocha. You know me. Mm -hmm. After walking around Melrose for a bit, we decided to go to Griffith Park, and after the chaos of parking was settled, we decided to take a bit of a hike. Okay, it was more than just a bit. We hiked to the tallest peak in the desert sun, and it was definitely such a great hike for beautiful views. Oh, hey, 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 well, falling over things. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Sarah. salad. It's a Caesar salad with dressing on the side. Instead of chicken, I ended up getting pepperoni. These were literally brand new and I just brushed them off and yeah. Yep. Yep. Griffith, you, you got these shoes. All right. They're still good, but very dusty. So I may or may not have a mud problem, but it was cute. So I mean, yeah. But first, coffee. So today has been busy. I've been doing a lot. I had work starting at 9, so I got up and I went to that. I had a class. Um, well, it was a lab four class I had to go to, so it's also a uh, film class as well. And I also had a class that I went to after grabbing something quick for lunch, grabbing some coffee because I'm really tired, so I thought coffee's a good way to go. And as it turns out, uh, I showed up, and there's a few other people there, and the teacher wasn't there. So yeah, yeah, uh, we waited around for a while, then I found out that it was like a class lab, so sometimes it would be happening, and other days it wouldn't be. So we all just kind of decided, okay, it's been 10 minutes, let's go. So um, yeah, I <laughs> would be in that class right now had it not been technically canceled, so I don't know what's going on there, but yeah, no class. So I have another class at 4.30, it's the one that I actually haven't been to yet, so really excited for that. And I've also been doing a lot of editing as well, you know, just trying to keep myself going. Later on there's improv, and then tomorrow's going to be another full day as well, so yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm on my second thing of coffee, and yeah. Also, I need to take a moment, it's sad dedication to my old card. Rest in peace, my old one card, because as you don't know, one card's ID, but it's also how you get into like places and everything, so it's kind of very important. As I got my first one during orientation in June, uh, the end of senior year, and because I was still in high school during that time, you know, it was like right in between senior trip and the last week of school and I had this and it was so much fun and so overwhelming and there's so much going on that I'm surprised I was awake for all of it with my great love of sleep. But yeah, I got this card and they told me to uh, take this photo for it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. So I sat down and I'm notoriously known for having my eyes closed to lashes from cameras. So, uh, I had my eyes closed at the first one just so they're like, okay, we're gonna retake it, no big deal. And then I was like prepping my eyes to stay open, but I ended up looking a little crazy and they took it mid trying to get my eyes open. I wasn't expecting it and my photo <laughs> turned out to be one of like literally the worst school photo I've ever had. And I've had a lot of really great, wonderful photos, so it made me sad, but I kind of just got used to it. I remember showing it to family and friends and all these people and I remember watching their reactions and I had a story to tell. and. 
you know, it's been through a lot. Uh, that card was basically broken. It didn't work for everything anymore. So it hit a point where it's like, okay, I need to fix this. So I fixed it this morning. I've had a really weird morning. So yeah, they retook my photo. Uh, they set up a new card, which is this. It's really cute. And like, look, I am actually, well, you can't really see. I'm actually like rocking the hair day and everything. So it's a good photo and I'm really happy about that. But in order to get the new card, the policy was they had to take the old. So I don't have my old card anymore. I do have photos of it. So that's what counts, I guess. But yeah, me means a sentimental person I am. I was kind of upset about that, but nonetheless, I got a new card. It works now. I just got registered so I can get back into the room again, and it's all good. So, yeah. So I just ordered some coffee that I need to go pick up. I know, like, I've had too much coffee today, but I'm improv and it starts pretty soon, like within the next half hour. So I'm gonna go to Starbucks, pick up my coffee, and head on over to improv. So I don't think I'm going to be able to talk for the rest of the night out here just because of that. And I'm not convinced I'm bringing my camera yet just because there isn't gonna be much to film. I don't like leaving it on the side. So yeah, I'm going to improv. It's gonna be fun. I'm going to have coffee and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Wednesdays are always busy with classes and such, but I'll be discussing that as the day's events soon. It's Thursday, I'm ridiculously tired, and I didn't really document anything that happened yesterday, uh, so I'm going to backtrack it a little bit. On Tuesday night, I went to improv, which was a lot of fun. I was talking about that. I was really excited. There's improv again tonight, which I plan to go if I'm not this deathly tired then. But even if so, I'm trying to like make it more of a commitment to go this year because of how many times I didn't really go last year. So I kind of want to be there, you know? You feel? It'll be fun. Also, yesterday, I got a lot of things done. So it's really productive. I had work for a little while. Wait. No, I didn't. It was Wednesday. I did not have work. I had classes and I had a lab and I had like all these things going on. I was trying to finish up homework and then later on there's going to be dance team auditions and I kept going back and forth wondering do I want to do this or not. I had some coffee and I got really jittery from it because coffee when you're tired doesn't really solve anything. It wakes up your body but your mind's still tired basically. At least that's what it does for me. So I was really spent and then jittery and I called home for a while and I was basically just trying to figure out okay do I go to this or not and I ultimately didn't go it was at 10 o'clock last night and I was really tired by 9 30. I was also like in a lot of pain though because I went to a core bar class here on campus and if you don't know it's a fun class that's kind of like Pilates yoga and ballet so I was like, okay, this sounds like fun, and I always had a class during that time last year, yeah, last year, so now it's like, okay, I'm gonna go to this, and it was way more energy and effort required than I was really expecting, so, uh, yeah, I can't really walk right now, which is kind of sad and kind of funny all at the same time, but, like, yeah, so I'm pretty tired. I slept until 10 this morning, I have worked there at 12, but I wanted to get there a little bit earlier today, and... I'm just having breakfast and I'm trying to stay awake and hopefully today I'll be productive. I don't have any classes on Thursdays now which is nice. So hopefully I'm just going to work on editing and homework and anything else I have to do so that I feel more free tomorrow. So yeah, that's that's literally my story right now so let's see. It's 3.30. It's a little bit after 3.30 technically. I just came back from work and I had lunch. And I'm really tired, so I'm probably going to go back to sleep for a bit, which is pretty funny. Also, yesterday I overdosed on coffee, which is not a good thing to do, and I, I have my reasons. But yeah, today I made a pledge to myself that I wasn't going to have any coffee. And then I found out that the coffee cart here has mocha boba. What? Like, actual mocha boba. So I totally got a mocha boba, because I was really looking for boba, so. I had that, it was really good. So yeah, I'm just trying to drink some water, uh, do some editing, uh, I have some editing I can only do in the room right now, and then 
I probably take a nap, have dinner, and then do an improv. So that's my plan for today. I know, like, this week there hasn't been a lot to, like, actually show what I'm doing. Just it's more just, like, class based or work or just, like, things I can't necessarily film. So, yeah, I know, like, woo, fun backgrounds, just the room, and it's, like, not even completely done yet. But I'm keeping you updated. So, yeah, why am I so tired? midway into a nap and the fire drill went off so now I'm just gonna go get dinner because why not you know why not it's like 8 14 in the morning it's really crazy gloomy out there and I am so tired my burn I am really tired uh, luckily all I have to do today is one class and that starts at 9 so I really need to get ready uh, but uh, I have one class today and then I have work a bit later and it's Pizza Friday day so I'm excited about that but yeah, yeah, um, I'm not that early tonight, that's a lot of the story. So. Friday after work, I was not going to go sleep, but I didn't want to be up all night, so I movie marathon and watched Ice Princess, The Princess Diaries, and True Confession of a Teenage Drama Queen. Total throwback. The next day, I slept into about 3.15 in the afternoon, eventually got breakfast, and went to the Novo Theater in Hollywood to film interviews at the Dizzy Feet Gala. Afterwards, I was so excited from everything that happened, so I edited while listening to the Heist Run soundtrack. Sunday was chill. I got things done, woke up to a bunch of notifications and a tweet from Bell Thorne, and then later found dinner off campus with Brenna at Wahoo's Fish Taco, which was pretty amazing. Also, I was living for the rare amounts of clouds over LA. Seriously, it's never cloudy here. I appreciate what you get.
Oh, oh, oh. 